welcome back to my Django tutorial series on my channel. So in the last video, we talked about integrating databases with our project. Now in this video, I want to show you guys how to configure an admin panel for your Django project. So Django has a built-in admin interface which allows you to maintain your site from an admin interface. Basically, you don't need to open PG admin every time to check on your database or check the amount of users or anything. You can easily maintain this from an admin interface anywhere you are. Now for us to configure this for our site, for our project, all we need to do is to create a super user. A super user are, let's say, super credentials. That means you are going to basically create an account, but nobody can log into the account except from you. And that credentials is what you are going to use to log in to the admin interface. That means only you will be able to access the admin interface. Well, let's first close this to do that we're going to type on python3 manage.py create super user now it's going to ask us to provide some credentials let's create let's say user at gmail.com just random credentials let's give it a password now it says password is too common so we just bypass that now we have this now we can go to our admin interface by clicking on our localhost slash admin. Okay, it's not going to run because we have our look, we don't have our localhost running. So let's run the server first. It says port already in use. Let's click fit that. New terminal. Python3 manage.py run server. Now let's see. Now it has successfully run the server on our localhost. Now, boom, you see we have Django administration. This means an admin panel. Now, let's log in with the details we created earlier. Now, this is how a Django admin panel looks like. Basically, you just have groups and users. These users, you see everybody signed up on your site. Groups, you see all the groups created on your site. But now, what we want to do. We want to access this model.py file. Remember, we integrated all these objects into database. We want to access that database from our admin panel. For us to do this, we are going to register that database in our admin panel. So we are going to go to a file in our app called admin.py, and then we are going to import that model. I'm going to say from dot models import profile. Then for us to register that model into our admin panel, we're going to say admin dot site dot register. Make sure this is in small caps. Then the name of that model is profile. Now when we save this and reload it here, boom, we see a new table let's say basically a new table now we have these two automatically created because i created these actually but let's delete this and create new ones delete selected profile cool yeah i'm sure so now let's add new profile basically we're not going to do that in this video in the next video i want to show you guys how to add some data into databases now there are some things you guys need to know about adding data into database and fetching them so in the next video we're going to take care of that that's going to be all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to smash the like button please subscribe and then turn on post notifications so you get notified when i drop new videos and if you are confused in any way or you have any question please just drop it down in the comments i'll be sure to answer your question thank you for watching bye for now